Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Up now is my February Ipsy unboxing. Hello, humans, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, guys. Happy 2019. I'm starting to get a schedule for my Siren Says page, my Vibe Tribe page, and my Fire and Ice page, which if you aren't following or subscribing on any of those social medias, I'll put the links in the description below just so you can keep up with all the other things that I've got going on. Thank you guys for your patience, thank you guys for sticking with me. Sorry for the wait, I promise that you won't have to wait two months for another new video. For all of you that didn't see my last Ipsy unboxing video, I'll also put that link in the description below. What better month to start it back up than the month of love? Ooh, happy Valentine's Day, all my lovers. Hopefully you guys had a great holiday. I personally am still on that single status. Just be thankful for all the love you have in your life. You know, sometimes it can be a little hard on these holidays when you're single and it can be hard to remember what's important, but as long as you have someone in your life that cares about you, and as long as you've got love in your life, that's something to be thankful for. So first off, right off the bat, the bag itself, it's so cute. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It's got all the kissy marks. The first item that I see, this is going to be my Farrah Powder Brush 50F. That's what it's called. So let's take it out of the packaging. Now the color of it is really pretty. It's like a white brush with pink at the end. It's very soft. Versatile enough to apply setting powders, bronzers, and blush. Has super soft bristles that blend color smoothly and evenly on your face. Oh yes, I love it. It feels so good. It feels so good on my face. Oh yeah. I really like that they started doing this. On here, it has a description of all the different uh, items that I got in my bag. The next one that I see in here is uh, Seraphine Botanicals Natural Radiance Booster in Daisy and Pearl. So Daisy and Pearl is the shade. Hopefully you guys can see that. Vegan, gluten-free, and GMO-free. The packaging is so pretty. This has got to be my favorite packaging that I've seen on anything. That is made from plant-based, fair trade, sustainably sourced ingredients. I love that. I, that's one of the things that I really enjoy about Ipsy. They send me a lot of pro, a lot of uh, products that are cruelty-free, vegan, non-GMO, organic, and that's the kind of products that I like to use the most. I like to be a little bit more economically conscious when I make purchases and when I use products. It's this highly pigmented, oh, it's a highlighter. <gasps> I love highlighter. This highly pigmented highlighter is made with natural daisy flower extract and jojoba seed oil to nourish and hydrate your skin. Girls, are you with me? Is highlighter your favorite? If so, leave it in the comments. Let me know what your favorite part of makeup is. Well, since I got a brush, really shimmery. Oh, yes, girl. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference? Oh, look at that cheekbone, girl. Look at the way she glisten. Oh, yes, child. Work it, girl. And it is a very natural looking shade, too. It looks like it would be really good to use with a lot of different colors. Thanks for looking out, Ipsy. Shout out to you. So the next product we're gonna go with is... The next one is Koki Cosmetics Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in Light. And I read a little bit in the description and it says that Koki means elephant in Korean, which symbolizes boldness and beauty. This medium to full coverage formula is loaded with illuminating pigments to camouflage dark circles, plus it won't crease and last from morning to night. The crazy thing is, me and my sister actually are starting to plan a trip to Korea. And it's crazy how synchronicity kind of throws things your way that kind of show you that you're on the right path. And the fact that this is Korean just kind of made my day a little bit and got me exciting. Got me excited. Got me excited. I can't even talk. So actually, speaking of Korea, their Lunar New Year just passed. And me and my sister actually made a traditional rice cake soup called dukuk. And we made that on our Vibe Tribe 
YouTube channel, so I'll put that link in the description below as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and try this concealer. Let me go get my beauty blender. It looks very full coverage. I didn't need much at all. Seal of approval. It's very lightweight, easy to keep in my purse for on the go. Multi X Repair Cream. Lab for You is the brand. It's rich cream, instantly calms and drenches skin with moisture, even the most sensitive. Acne prone, it's also infused with witch hazel to help fight breakouts. Ooh, awesome. It smells really good. It smells very um, herbal. And it also is very light. That's really soft. That definitely, I feel like, would be good for applying before makeup because it's not heavy. So let's move on to the next one. And the last product, which... It's Marc Anthony, which I know it's not necessarily Marc Anthony, Marc Anthony, but I grew up listening to Marc Anthony. Anything that has his name, I'm about it. So this is the Marc Anthony True Professional Strengthening Grow Long Anti-Breakage Mask. Okay, so this is definitely for your hair because I don't think I've ever heard of an anti-breakage mask for a face. If you have, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious now. <laughs> I might Google this. I'll keep you posted. This is to strengthen and protect and it has caffeine and ginseng. Oh, I gotta smell this girl. When it comes to hair care, it doesn't get any better than this. Fused with caffeine and ginseng, this nourishing mask strengthens and improves the elasticity of your strands so it can better withstand any style you go for. They really like to make these tongue twisters, don't they? Oh, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like caffeine. But I'm gonna take a little bit out. Just kind of put a little in my hair just because it's not gonna kill me. I really liked all of the products in my February 14th Valentine's Day month of February glam bag. So if you guys have Ipsy as well, go ahead and let me know in the comments what your favorite product you got and what your least favorite product was. And let me know if there's any other things you'd like to see me review. I, you know, love technology. I love movies and TV shows. If that's something that you would be interested in seeing me review, so just let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see us do. So thank you so much guys for staying tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Love you guys so much. And